The wife of Terry Thompson whisked away under the cover of a jacket. She's lost so much. A husband. She's lost animals, too. And others are feeling it. He was a good guy. He's misunderstood by a lot. Um, it's really hard. Steve Addis, once married to Thompson's sister, says animals were a huge part of his life. All I'll say about the animals, you can talk to his wife about that, is uh, he loved his animals very much. But how could love turn into mayhem and eventually suicide? You never saw this coming for sure, though, I would no, imagine. Uh, nobody did. Nobody did. Uh, especially family. But I don't know. It's, it's hard to say why somebody does what they do. It's hard to tell what I do sometimes, let alone what somebody else does. Right. Others watched what happened and saw who was responsible. I said, oh my God, that's him. This woman didn't want to be identified, but actually held one of Terry's tigers. He would bring them in and get them declawed, and then he and his wife went on to say that they would sleep with these tigers for about a year. They would sleep in the same bed. She watched as Thompson battled neglect and abuse charges and gun charges last year that landed him in prison. She wishes she would have seen this coming. It, it just always seems to me that the animals pay the price of someone's, of a human's negligence. It was just outrage to me. And, and I just think the warning bells were there earlier. For neighbors, they point to war. Terry wasn't always that way. Terry, well, you come back from Vietnam, he was a little bit different. And now a family is left wondering, why did it all happen? It's going to be a sad day, you know. It's, it's sad.